Welcome to PlanSwift Essentials Part 2. Today I will cover a few common questions of PlanSwift. Hopefully you will learn something new today. And the first one is, what is bookmark and how to create a bookmark in PlanSwift? As you can see, I have few bookmarks already. It helps user to navigate different views on multiple pages. I'm right now on this page, but if I have to navigate, I have to locate something like change in flight. So I just need to click, it will directly pin that point. That's how bookmark help. I need to find a change in parking and I made a bookmark earlier. So I just need to click, it will directly pin that point. LV room at ground floor, window at elevation as built so i don't need to remember i just need to click and soft will directly pin that point so the question is how to add a bookmark so you need to find out the area once you find out the area you can zoom that specific area so it's easy for you to review later on and under the pages you will find one option bookmark and there's one button new bookmark when you press this button soft will allow you to add a new bookmark you can give any name let's say entrance press ok now the bookmark is added already here later if we want to see let's say change in parking LV room or entrance just press this button software will directly show that specific area so that's how you can add a bookmark if you want to rename simply select and press this button change property or right click in property and you can change it okay it's main entrance as an example it's changed and if there's so many bookmarks and you need to find out you can use this search bar okay lv room and you can directly locate something if you don't want just press this button and delete it so this is all about bookmark how to see more digits after the decimal point you can see here right now i am on estimating tab and beside each item i have more digits after the decimal point but by default that's not how it look alike so how to customize you can click here on a column software will show you all the available columns so choose any column you want to customize by default there are two so if I keep it same as by default you will find out only two digits if you want to keep it three or four you can simply click on a column Select the specific column and change it 3 or 4 as you want. Once you change, you can change other as well, maybe linear or volume. You can change as you want. Once you uh, modify, just close. You will find out it's updated already. How to adjust multiple scale on one page? As you know, at a time we can apply only one scale, but under some condition, we need to apply different scale as you know it's 150 let's assume it's 1 to 100 or 1 to 200 so we cannot apply one scale to board drawing it will be incorrect so the question is how to do that directly there is no way but there is a solution to do that so under a page tab you will find out one option crop as new page you can click on it select the area and give a name it's floor plan one as an example software will keep it separate then again crop as new page and specify the area floor plan two our original drawing is still the same you can see here but software provided two extra copies floor one and floor two it's an indirect solution but it will help us to perform separate scale so now we can provide here 1 to 50 and on the other side 1 to 200 or 150 as we want so i hope it will help you under some conditions how to see the quantities as a page wise as a breakdown as a section wise so on the estimating tab you can see here i have two quantities area and flooring one it could be any name but if I click here on a plus button, software show me each section separately. Three section I have done it on a first floor, one section on a ground floor, and the last one on typical floor. So how to have this view? 
By default, that's how it look alike. Name, quantity, unit, and color. How to add a page? So, you need to click here on a columns. You may find few columns here. If you can see the page column here, you can check, but by default, you will not see the page column here. You need to add it once. So, press this button, add. You can give a name, page. It has to be same name and P, the first letter must be capital in upper letter. You have to type the same spelling and you should keep the data type as text because it's gonna show you the name, it's a text. So add this column, then close. Still, it's not showing us here, why? Because there is no section. So you have to click here filter and press this button section. When you press this button, you can see this option. So you can minimize, you can expand as you want. So now software show you the view as a section wise. The quick way is here also expand and collapse. Okay. So that's it. If you really like the video, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below. And if you have any question or doubt related to Plan Swift, feel free to contact me on a LinkedIn. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.